Hey friends, this is Dolany TV. Glad to have you aboard this afternoon, this evening, maybe even into Thursday morning as we discuss the latest injury update from the Edmonton Oilers. This coming via Tom Gazzola in a moment when I get to it. But uh, yeah, obviously it was something I talked about earlier this morning, specifically if you're tuning in on the Wednesday uh, discussing kind of a video I recorded on the Tuesday night for the Wednesday morning that according to Stan Bowman we would have an update on Evander Kane's status sometime from September 3rd in 7 to 10 days. That put us this morning, September 11th, squarely in the middle of that time frame and I'm like hmm you know that mm, today seems like a day we could get some news on that front and indeed we have albeit more more or less confirmation speculation I guess you could call it from Tom Gazzola who also alongside Dustin Nielsen had the PTO news on Travis Dermott yesterday so again this is obviously coming from a good reputable source which uh, Tyson's been guilty of maybe not using the best ones here lately so I want to make sure I'm at least verifying that for you so as we go into the video friends if you are new to the channel I want you to consider hitting that subscribe button hockey season is around the corner right now sitting at 16,760 subscribers so just about to 17,000 about 240 away so I'd appreciate definitely if you want to hop aboard make the numbers look even crazier than they already are to me trust me it gets bigger and bigger every year and I just can't believe it but at the same rate as well you want to stay up to date with everything Edmonton Oilers I think we got a good season loading for that here on the channel so without further ado I've wasted plenty of your time already but let's get to the news that you came for Tom Gazzola of course updating today that the Edmonton Oilers have a couple of injuries. He's hearing that the Vander Kane and Darnell Nurse are expected to start training camp on the shelf due to injury. So that's a tough blow for the Edmonton Oilers. Just simply, you know, you're expecting two guys to be a part of everything here this season and be a part of uh, a major season for the Edmonton Oilers, but they will start on the shelf due to injury. The update on Nurse is he's been on uh, the ice for informal skates and continues to heal up from a lingering injury from the playoffs the projection is he will be good to go later in camp so what does that all mean well let's read this again uh, that Evander Kane and Darnell Nurse are both expected to start training camp on the shelf due to injury the update is Nurse should be good to go later on although it would appear and the Oilers have multiple multiple triple quadruple billions of cap compliancy situations they could truly use. I know there's about three or four main ones. Add in Travis Dermott in there, now there's four or five. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, I don't really care which way it goes here for the Oilers. But again, it looks like as traditionally under Ken Holland, this very well may push to the very last day of cap compliancy before the Oilers decide to make a decision. Ultimately, they can start the year under the cap with Kane not on LTIR. That's as far as we last understood by trading CC. that's where we're at. That said, there's a million other scenarios that they could very well play out here if they so choose to. And that's what gets me excited because we've heard of Dermot coming to camp, but if the Oilers are indeed still looking at a second player, there is still rumor that the Toronto Maple Leafs are specifically trying to trade out Maybe a Connor Timmins, maybe a Timothy Lilligren. Well, you know what? If, if those two players are available, we love our ex-Maple Leafs here in Edmonton becoming Oilers. Well, if those two players are available and the Oilers are still looking to add a player via, well, oh, Travis Dermott, hmm, hold on, I just had a brainwave. Um, yeah, if we're, those two players are available for the cheap, cheap to get cap compliant for Toronto, obviously signing Hackenpah, and as well bringing in Max Pacioretty under the expectation he gets a contract, one would assume that for the Oilers here and now that uh, we might not be done with the cap puzzle yet. And I say yet because we know that by the sounds of this, if you go back and read that one more time, that Evander Kane will start training camp on the shelf and there was no update here on Evander Kane in this thread from Tom Grizzola. One would assume that uh, it is going to be a little bit lengthier of a recovery for one, um, for one Evander Kane, and that's fine and dandy. We'll be fine with that. I think that was the assumption we went into the off season with as an Oilers fan base. 
it's not too much of trouble for us overall but again the Darnell Nurse thing similar to Matthias Ekholm last year is a little bit troubling We've got a big time big money big minute defenseman starting camp with an injury and we've been there done that like I said with Ekholm last year and you know how things kind of translated from there and of course Evander Kane still wasn't 100% last year so you're hoping that the Oilers yeah you know what are an improved team right out of the gate but a big piece of that is making sure that some of the periphery stuff that happened last year like Matthias Ekholm like Evander Kane is more well taken care of here to begin this season than perhaps last year so we'll see we'll stay tuned we'll find out what happens here and obviously as well as the others have learned mistakes along the way to not repeat throughout the course of the season that would be greatly appreciated as well now obviously i did want to touch on the uh, trade deadline has been announced across the nhl and the Oilers had a couple new hires in the uh, in the uh, development side scouting and development side Again, if I really had much to touch on there, I would, other than it is just the continued kind of evolution of the Edmonton Oilers under Jeff Jackson, who will kind of direct this team to become a more blended youth top-end experience team and try and, I don't know if it's going to end up being the Tampa Bay model of success, not using the LTIR and stuff, but you get where I'm going, where you have some really top-end players that lead the way, and then you have some younger guys that just seem to keep creeping up from the minors and contributing. That's who I think of in that scenario is Tampa, but Jeff Jackson and uh, Kelly Larson there and everybody is going to have a big challenge ahead of themselves to really build this Oilers team into a farm team and top tier team at the same time in which talent year in year out just graduates, contributes to the NHL level the next year. So. Looking forward to seeing that. Of course, check out Oilers social media for those three hires. But for right now, friends, that's all I got for you. I am up on out of here.